Today I would like to talk to you about the importance of taking care of yourself not only physically but mentally as well. Because unless you take care of yourself both mentally and physically, you will not be very successful in life nor will you be a balanced, well-rounded, healthy individual. By taking time to take care of yourself mentally, i.e. taking time to pray, meditate, go for a hike, walk, whatever it is you need to do to clear your head, You'll never be able to handle the stresses of life as efficiently as you should. And unless you can handle the stresses of life and the setbacks that come your way in a happy, healthy manner, you're never going to be successful or a very, well, good person to be around. You're going to be stressed out, snappy, short, irritated, and angry all the time. At the same token, if you don't take care of yourself physically, you're going to be sick and tired and just drained all the time. So... In addition to working out every day, or at least three to four times a week, I work out every day because it helps me focus and deal with my Tourette's energy and depression energy and whatnot. You need to take time to pray if you're a person of faith, to meditate, or whatever you need to do to de-stress. Because by getting rid of that negative energy, it allows you to focus on the good in the world and be able to relax and more easily process the things that happen to you each and every day. So if you're looking for a great way to work out and de-stress at the same time, yoga is a great way. If you check with local uh, rec centers, they usually have beginner classes, some of which take out all the Eastern stuff that you may not agree with to the Christians out there. But it is a great way to maintain, learn balance and flexibility, it, to de-stress, and just to, just to relax and have a good time because you don't have to take it so seriously. If yoga is not your thing, then pray, go for a hike, whatever it takes for you to just clear your head mentally. That way you'll be a not only much happier person to be around and really enrich not only your life, but the lives of those around you. So that's my challenge to you. To find a workout activity, whether that's running, swimming, a combination of whatever, to take care of yourself physically so that you're not feeling sluggish, to eat healthy, to get rid of those those trans fats, the processed sugars, and the artificial sweeteners, and the soda, and all those junk. Not that they're okay once in a while, not okay once in a while, but don't eat them all the time. Begin to eat your fruits, and your vegetables, and your meat, and just take care of yourself physically, and then take time to meditate, pray, whatever it takes to clear your head, and watch how you achieve goals that you never thought possible. Watch how you suddenly learn a patience and have a peace and a joy and a calmness you never thought you'd have in situations that normally would drive, used to would have drove you crazy. Watch how you change in miraculous ways and achieve things you never thought possible. So that's my challenge to you. Comment below three things that you're going to do to calm down and clean your head out mentally and three things that you are going to do to take care of yourself physically. And again, I'll add this. If you are having mental problems and diet and exercise and working out alone are not enough, please, 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 please go see your mental health professional, your doctor, your general practitioner, somebody, and there is no shame on being medication. Yes, natural is always better, but if that alone is not helping, there is nothing wrong with using medicine in conjunction with diet and exercise and meditation. Please get the help you need and get back on track. I, suffer, I have depression. I have anxiety. I, diet and exercise work for me, but there was times I was on meds too. There is no shame in that. It is not weakness to admit you need help. So, what are you going to do to improve your physical health and your mental health? Again, comment those three things of each below and you all have a blessed day.